And we were hearing footsteps, voices. We've heard a growl. I've been touched. Oh my God. I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. I'm wigging out a bit. What the heck? Thank you so much for tuning into Amy's Crypt. Tonight we are investigating the Fairfield County Infirmary. This place is a huge building and I'll tell you what, there's not one section of it that is not paranormally active. There's so many layers to the history of this place as well. A lot of dark things did occur here. Uh, we have a history of death. We have torture, misfortune, mistreatment. So stay tuned. This is the Fairfield County Infirmary, known as a poor farm. It was a place for the less fortunate, a place for those without a home, and where people were admitted for physical or mental health issues. It held those with disabilities who were sick, too old to care for themselves, or even children who were orphaned. The first wooden structure to provide this care was erected in Lancaster, Ohio in 1828, but was eventually replaced with a brick building in 1840. Many passed through the infirmary, with some spending their whole lives here, and plenty passed away within the building. Mix the death, trauma and mistreatment of being housed in this building, and you have a recipe for hauntings. I've been with the building now two years, and I've done numerous investigations. I actually just investigated with a team last uh, Thursday, and we were hearing footsteps, voices. I've had a loud metallic bang happen while giving a flashlight tour. I've been touched. We've heard a growl, which usually the growl comes from a guy named Nuisance. If he didn't get five pounds of beef at every meal, they, he would growl at the staff. We hear footsteps, we've heard voices, we've seen shadows. We just can't explain some of the stuff away. Other than that, it's just been shadow play. A lot of shadow play happens within the building. So that's why we feel it's very haunted. Uh, we also have a natural spring that's run, running right underneath the building. So we attribute some of that to the haunting as well. Pretty much this entire building, there's no real hot spot. It's the entire building has the same activity. A couple of them that we do know uh, is possibly Jane Householder. She was a woman who died here by um, being engulfed into flames. A fire had happened and it kicked back on her dress and she ended up passing away here after nine hours of dealing with the pain. A couple other people have said that there is a boy named Willie. They say he usually is here on the second floor and sometimes up on the third floor. Tonight, we will investigate numerous areas of this building known to be haunted. The lower levels where the former morgue sits, the hallways and rooms where unfortunate souls once lived, including a jail-like cell where those to misbehave would be locked, and of course the building's attic, which is sometimes referred to as the dungeon, as people are often chained to the walls here as punishment. It is time to start the walkthrough. This place is eerie. I've got two cameras rolling just because I've heard so much happens here. A lot of it is visual as well. People see shadow figures, people see apparitions. Even just earlier up on the second floor, Jared Forty saw something. Uh, we did a walk through for my patrons and YouTube members. It wasn't like a person though, was it Jared? No, it was sort of like a animal or something, like a, like a little fur baby, like a little cat or something, like on the floor. There was nothing there, so that was in the corner of my eye, so that was weird. I have no idea if there are animal ghosts here. It is curious that you would see something like that. It's odd, but there are so many odd things that happen here. So let's just roll ghost tube. I'm going to walk you through just two levels of this place, guys, and then Jared and I are going to split up and take the other two levels, which are the scariest places, Jared. <laughs> I'm actually like, maybe I don't want to do that, but maybe I do. Well, she was saying before she's going to send me into the basement and that freaks me out a bit because down there is where the morgue is. So yeah, I'm petrified. It wouldn't be the first morgue I've gone into, but they're never pleasant. Did you just make a noise or something? <sighs> no. I thought I heard something. Footsteps apparently is super common, and that's what I'm listening out for tonight. Hey, 
Is this an original hospital bed? This is, yes. Wow. So this was a hospital? Is that what an infirmary is? It was a hospital. But it was also what they called a poor farm. So literally this was where people who had uh, physical or mental disabilities were sent, people who were homeless, people who had addiction issues, uh, people who were orphaned, people who were elderly. It was kind of just the people who fell through the cracks of society were sent here a lot of the times. It's a long time ago. It was a long time ago now. This place Stop. is... Stop. I am going to say something that I'm just thinking in my head, okay? One of the main ghost stories here, right, is there was a lot of mistreatment. There was a superintendent here who kind of oversaw the place and wasn't the nicest fella. And it's speculated that he's still here today. Like, he, he, his spirit lingers, right? And he's keeping all of the other spirits in line and does not like them to talk, does not like them to communicate with the investigators. As Superintendent Hummel, he was not a very nice superintendent, so we feel like he tries to still wrangle the spirits in and keep them in his charge, so. Yeah, it's sort of weird, so it's like, a long time ago, it was like someone was trying to communicate with us and then someone else came in and was like, stop, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, could that have been the superintendent maybe? So if there is somebody here, or there's lots of, lots of you here. My name's Amy and this is Jared. We have good, in, we have good intentions. We come here with the greatest of respect and we would love to talk to anybody. If there is somebody here stopping you from talking to us, Screw that, like, come and talk to us. Don't let anyone boss you around. Don't let them tell you what to do. I don't think that's very fair. They're not in charge of you anymore. So you can come out and talk to us. Is there anybody home? Are there like child spirits here too? Cause there's like a teddy bear just here. And I swear I saw some toys earlier today as well. There are said to be children here, yes. As I mentioned, like a lot of children came here as orphans. Quite sad. Some people live their whole lives here. They died here, you know. Um, they definitely have activity that is childlike. A little girl has been seen here. Some people claim her name to be Susie, but they do have some rooms specifically set up for children that are said to be very, very active. Now, those rooms were actually set up as like day room areas, but we set it up as a kids' room so that the children's spirits here could have a place to play. And that can actually get particularly active, um, especially that hallway. A lot of footsteps, noises. I've had REM pods drain in that hallway. I had a laser grid, one of the GS2 laser grids, just go nuts because of the proximity sensor that's inside of it. So that hallway is very, very active. Oh my god. So you're just saying, are there kids here? This is one of the kids' rooms. There are so many dolls in here. Yeah, these dolls are sort of creepy. And I love that enormous one right near you. <laughs> what, this one here? Yeah. Yeah. This one looks like it's got a wig like the um, captains in Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> That's random. <laughs> And this one here sort of looks like she's from like Sister Act or something. Our guide today was saying that um, this dog got shipped here from one of the other venues that the, the ghost tour company that operates this place runs because it was causing some trouble. Yeah. Yeah. Young. Young. <gasps> Young, we're in the kids room. Yes. Yes. <gasps> Hello, if there's somebody here, my name's Amy, this is Jared, and we've come here to play with you tonight. How old are you? Can you tell us how old you are? I can't believe that just said young and we're in the kids' room. L literally, yeah. I was told, guys, that this wasn't, didn't used to be a kids' room. They've set it up as a kids' room now for the child spirits that are said to be here to, to hang out, but... Yeah, that's that's really crazy. I think it's so nice that they gave 
the child spirits here a place that they can come, you know, this is for them, all the toys. Did you just get a magnetic spike? Yeah, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hallway. <gasps> no! Yes! Let me try and replicate the magnetic spike. It did not go off again. Okay, so you want us in the hallway. You've got us in the hallway. I did hear, hear a tap down there, thank you. Can you make a louder noise for us? Could be the other hallway where we were going. We we're about to walk into the men's section. Well, yeah, I mean, this place has so many hallways. There's like one there, one there, one down here. Which hallway? Go into the men's area. Again, a lot of shadows have been seen down here. Upstairs on the third floor, that whole hall can be extremely active with shadow play, especially um, when you're standing beside the jail cell and looking down the hall, you can see it just dart in and out from each room. It's really got a smell down here, like... Guilt. Guilt. What do you call the guilt over? My name's Amy and this is Jared. So were these like cells and... Not. These were not cells. They weren't? Did that just answer my question? <laughs> yeah. What the hell is with this thing tonight? This is pretty good. Bribed. bribed. Guilt bribed. Not. These were more rooms where people would live rather than cells, but there were cells here and I will be taking you, I think it's the next floor up. Maybe we go straight there to the cell. I want to show you guys that because it's so uncanny that you are asking if these were cells and it says not but there is a room that is specifically a cell. It's so eerie how there's just old pieces of medical equipment like a walker or a wheelchair just laying around. Anyone around that wants to come around and say hi? My name's Jared. I mean, <laughs> my name's Amy, this guy's Jared. Hey. My hair or his hair? You can play with it, either one of the hairs. <laughs> I don't know if people get their hair touched in here, but... You wanna play with my hair? It's okay. Actually, we're in the men's wing, so... Ew. A bit creepy. Yeah, <laughs> not you. <laughs> so guys, this is just hallway Man. after hallway. Men! Maybe what? once your hair. You were like... My hair or his hair, and then it just said, Man. Man. <laughs> oh. That is. Okay, no, no, no. I'm not going in that men's ward anymore. I think that, that now is my new favorite, least favorite spot, if you know what I mean. The men want to play with Jared's hair. Oh, that's <laughs> creepy. Nine. Nine men. <laughs> I don't know how that makes me feel. Well, you know what? Let's walk towards the cell because it's on this, this area. I thought I just heard something in the male's... Like what? Then. Just something moving there then. Like what though? I don't know. I'm hearing noises in there. The man is back! Just stand still for a sec. Don't leave. <gasps> Oh my god! They really like you, Charity. <laughs> Get me. So, oh, I don't want to stay here. I don't want to stay here. It's right as we're like going towards the exit. It says that. Why? It's okay. We're here to make friends. Anyway, we're lovely people. Can you give us a, uh, the number of your room? It did say nine before. Nine, three, five. 
through six. Very four, so it must be on the on the lady side. Yeah. Let's go. Do you want to go to that? Yeah, let's go three oh nine. Let's see. So I think three oh nine is just outside. I know it doesn't want us to leave the ward, but I really want to find this room. Three oh seven. Three oh eight. Three oh nine. Go in. <gasps> Is this a double pane mirror? mirror where they see through one side and you can't see through the other side? It's weird that it would tell us to go in that room though because... Okay, we established it was a window, not a double mirror. way mirror. But that's the only room that I know of that has that in it, which is weird. I don't actually know why they have that. Anyway, back on track, let's get to the cell, which is here. When you're sitting inside of the jail cell, there's usually a lot of footsteps happening. Um, if you're using spirit boxes, the spirit box will just be non-stop. You'll hear voices. Most of the time though, they don't answer your questions. They're actually just sitting and talking to each other through the spirit box because I guess they feel like it's a better way to communicate for, with each other. Cell is basically where they put anyone who was not behaving and they would cram multiple people in here. Now, if a you got put in the cell, it wasn't a good place to be, but if you continuously acted up, you were sent somewhere worse, which we will be showing you when we split up. But this door here, we definitely left closed and it's still closed, so I'm making note of that. This door is kind of infamous from Destination Fear. Let's open it. If anyone's watched that TV show, they came here in their first season and this door opened twice on its own and it was caught on camera both of those times. And it's weird that it's, yeah, the prison door the, or the prison cell door. And we can also confirm that. Barber. Interesting. I'm just gonna put, goes to Gerald. Gerald. Oh my God, is that referring to, okay guys, so my name's Jared, of course, but Amy, has a nickname for me. She calls me Gerald for some reason. So that's actually quite weird that that would come up. So Gerald is kind of relevant to us. That's literally my nickname for Jared because I never, like when I slur Jared, it kind of sounds like Gerald. So one day Lord. I just started calling him Gerald. Lord, a couple of religious words coming out. But I mean, father, Gerald, maybe it's relevant to this actual location, you know what I mean? They did say that they had a, um, maybe a chapel in the lower levels, didn't they? So, yes. could be. So anyways, guys, this is in the inside of the cell. You can see a lot of investigators come here. There's a lot of offerings on the table from toys for children, uh, candies. Then you've got more adult things like cigarettes and money, so. That is a lot of money. <laughs> I counted it today, there's $28 there, but it looks like a lot. Count. Oh my god! <laughs> I've counted it, yes, it's $28. <gasps> what the hell? Okay, I will admit, I counted the notes, I didn't count the coins. There's $28 there. That's so weird that it says count. Should I count it again, just in case it's like, there's money missing? Um, you better not steal from the spirits. I'm not going they to. They will be vengeful and follow you home. If anything, I'm gonna leave more money there. Hang on, let me just sit down. Do you here. actually have any money, Jared? <laughs> Let's not, be real. <laughs> not on my person, but I do downstairs. What we would love for you to do tonight is move this door. Slam it, swing it, open it, close it. Do something with this door, please. You guys are my witness. I am closing this door. Oh, okay. That's as closed as it gets. Maybe because this area is of interest and we're about to split up and move to different areas. Let's go get Ghost Tube SLS and rig it up right here. Cause I really want this door to open for us. <laughs> that was crazy already. <laughs> That was such a good walkthrough. Yeah, and we've only covered like half this place, guys. Like, it is massive. That's not even, yeah, that's not even the full walkthrough. We are going to the two, probably the scariest places now. What, you said you want a morgue. 
Yeah, I mean, I know normally guys, I hate doing the creepy place, but seriously, out of the morgue downstairs in the basement and the dungeon upstairs in the attic, like, they're both scary spots. Like, I don't know which of the two I'd rather. <laughs> they're both not ideal. I would rather the morgue, but on this trip, I'm just pushing my limits. I'm just going to the places that freak me out the most, which is the attic. In the day when I was up there, I could hear voices in my ears. I, I was so already like... And I thought I heard a noise up there too. I'm pretty sure while I was up there taking photos. So <laughs> good luck with that. Yeah, it's literally called the dungeon. That's what it was referred to. Uh, a lot of mistreatment um, and strange stuff going on. Are you ready to go alone? I don't know if I'm ready. Am I ever ready for these things? You're f***ing ready. <laughs> you ready? <gasps> yeah. I don't know if I'm ready for this. <sighs> we got this. Come on. All right. We've done way worse places than this. Suppose, but I don't know, just, um, have we ever done a place that's got a morgue and a dungeon? I don't know if we've done that before. So I'm going up, you're going down, yeah? Yep. See ya. All right guys, so just making my way down into the basement. I've been calling it the basement, it's actually the first floor, but. It was like a basement. And here we go. Hello? Is anybody down here? Is that a bone? Is that real? Surely not. Doesn't feel like it's plastic. It feels like it's like plaster or something. I'm not gonna lie. Nervous. I'm very nervous. This is the attic. This is also known as the dungeon. Charming, but it literally was used as a dungeon. People were chained up here when they misbehaved. This was like the level up from the prison cell. So if you got sent to the prison cell, misbehaved even further, you were sent here, tagging a car. We came down here with Patience, one of the dog guides here today, and she was telling us that hearing noises down here is very common, and she's heard loud unexplained noises down here on at least a few occasions. There is a boiler down here, or a furnace rather, sorry, but it's not operational, so if we do hear any noises, it's definitely not that. Is anybody here with me? People see shadows up here, people get touched up here, but people have seen a seven foot tall shadow figure up here. Like, numerous people. Um, so I'm not sure that's something I want to see. <laughs> but I kind of do. If I can get it on camera, that will be good. Right, so there's a couple of sections to the attic. We've got this area. This area, which is officially the dungeon. And then through this door. And then all the way down there, that's where the orphanage was. I just heard something. Like a tap in here. Okay. Let's go here. Ooh, this must be the doctor's surgery. Oh my god, that is so creepy. And this is why they call it the dungeon. These hooks up here, they are original. That's where they put the chains to chain, literally chain people to the wall. And the hooks are along the whole wall here. Isn't that sick, guys? That's just... 
I'm so sorry if that was something that you had to endure and had to go through, being chained up here in the attic. I swear I just heard a noise in here then. Hello? I'm told this was the physician for everybody that was living here, like for the whole building. It's definitely not as sinister, I guess, as the morgue, but it's pretty creepy. It's like all these old like medication bottles and stuff. Heart medicine. Why would the doctor have poison in his office? So I did bring a REM pod with me and I just found an electronic candle up here so I've lit that. So I've got a REM pod and a candle on the chair. Would anybody like to join me? Can you come and take a seat near this red light? Before that I did hear a weird noise, it sounded like a groan or something. Oh my god. Is it that? Yep, that is an old coffin. So this must be where they have funerals. Oh, that is so creepy. I just heard a noise come from out that door. That's back where the surgery is. When I was playing music. Is anybody there? Do you like my music? <gasps> so I'm gonna take you in here just to show you. So let's keep an ear out for the REM pod. But in here was like the original orphanage. Do you want me to play again? guys like I'm hearing noises down here it's really creepy I'm not gonna lie we were getting really good responses on ghost 2 before um, but I do want to try something a little bit different so I'm gonna get Vox going now to see if we can get any voices come through I know I'm not in the morgue yet I'm getting there but I just feel like I was hearing noises down here so I want to scope out this funeral section first and see if we get any words This clip clearly shows two people walk past the glass window leading outside of the building. They are not mapped by Ghost 2 Bessalus as they are too far to register and just visible through the door's window. I know for a fact that these people were not Jared or myself as we were investigating inside. It is worth noting though that the grounds of the infirmary are also said to be haunted and not just the main buildings. Activity has been reported on the outside which is where the residents who lived here would have worked on a farm, which made the infirmary self-sufficient. Furthermore, there is also a cemetery just outside the building that holds thousands of graves, including the many unmarked graves of those who passed at the infirmary. So could these figures be paranormal or possibly actual living people simply cutting through the property in the dead of night? Leave a comment to share your thoughts. Uh, like you'll often see shadows passing by just this area near me. 
so a lot of kids would have stayed here and they said a, a lot of sort of homeless people stayed up here as well um, there was a fire here in the 1920s now there is a famous um, haunting of a lady who died because she was set on fire here it's so that's like when I, I feel like that's got to be one of the worst ways to go that some people say it happened in this room but there was a fire here in the 1920s so they're not sure if the remnants of fire in this room are you know from this lady's death or just the fire that broke out here in the 20s so our guide today said that this area again shadows are common but she also said that she once had a spirit charge at her here literally run at her i had my back to what's known as the lawn hallway and i actually had something run up on me and i was the only one in the building and i ended up turning around and telling him like leave me alone i'm trying to make sure the building doesn't fall down and it stopped instantly and i feel like this is the perfect floor for that to happen because it's just wooden floorboard so if someone was running on this like you would unmistakably unmistakably <laughs> hear that it's that would be intense imagine just someone running at me right now <laughs> i genuinely what the f 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 oh my god <laughs> Guys, as soon as I hit record, it just said Patience. Patience is the name of our tour guide. The moment that Jared turns on goes to Vox, he received the response Patience, which is actually very relevant to this location. Our guide who introduced us to the building and gave an on-camera interview for this video is named Patience, and it seems that she has built quite the relationship with the spirits whilst investigating here. Patience if you're watching this. I hope you're watching this. I think someone down here likes you. So you, I don't know, I'm guessing you guys would have heard that little tap there. Tap on whatever is beside me here. The wall maybe. Um, I'm unnerved. I'm on edge up here. Definitely feels not empty. Like warm and crowded. It's a freezing cold night as well, guys. Like, that's the vibe up here, warm and crowded. And I know this probably isn't the most pleasant place to be, but if someone can join me, can you rattle the chains? Can you knock something over? Can you go towards the red light? It is raining right now, so you might actually hear rain. Is there someone down here that likes patience? Hey, Matt. That was cute. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. Um, maybe a little bit scared. <laughs> Should I be scared? Can you tell me why? Can you please come and sit with me? Check some cat balls out as well, guys. Oh, fudge. Thank you for your playing with those. I heard that you really like these balls. That one just rolled on its own, but I was moving, so maybe my weight on the floorboards could have shifted. It scared me a little bit, but... Actually, didn't it, oh, did it light up? Oh, it is on, okay. Where? That was a really creepy voice then. Not the same voice that said patience, but... 
Really creepy. Can you tell me whose room this was? Can you tell me what happened in this room? Thank you so much. I would really love if you not only lit up that ball, but went towards the red light and made that beep. I know you probably have people in here all the time asking you to do things. And I, I just appreciate if you do anything. I've come a very long way to visit you. I actually came from Australia, <laughs> which is halfway around the world. That's probably why I sound a bit funny as well. Can you tell me how I can find the morgue? Where's the morgue? Hey, the way you walk. Yeah, which way? Which way to the morgue, please? Can you tell me which way to the morgue? Okay, so I just had the cat ball go off on the wheelchair a few times. One of the cat balls moved on its own, but it could have just been my weight on the floorboards. It was a bit freaky. Sort of felt scared or a little bit scared when I came up here, but now I don't. And maybe it's just me thinking this through in my mind, but maybe it's not necessarily like bad people up here you know what i'm saying like these people were obviously mistreated here there was a lot of um trauma probably experienced and maybe you weren't necessarily like bad you were put up here just because you did things wrong like i don't know there was people here from all walks of life who had i guess issues where maybe you couldn't follow the rules that were put in place you know what i'm saying like It's a lot of mental health issues, I guess. Is it in this one? Fear. Fear. I feel like I just had the word fear and I, I swear someone asked me in the funeral parlor if I was scared. This doorway I do know it does lead to the morgue. That's a bit unnerving. Are you okay with me entering here? I feel for you, this is not a nice place to be, a nice place to be left, right? I'm so sorry that this happened to you. It's just something I wanted to say. Now I have heard that you like these flashing light up balls, so I've bought some for you. I've got three, two on the floor and one in the chair there, which I've seen light up. And I just want to say thank you so much. I know apparently that's something that you like to do, that you like to mess with. Is there anything I need to be worried about in this room? Oh my God. Oh my God, guys, this is, this is where they would have dissected some of the patients and prepared the bodies. I know that this table is not original, but that's the original drain right there. So it definitely happened in this room. I'm gonna leave Vox on the table. Can you tell me what went on in this room? Get ready for what? What should I get ready for?
Are there, is there anyone here in this room with me right now? And if there is, how many people? Thank you so much. Oh my God, that's so cool. Thank you. Oh, you're the best. Thank you. I am gonna light up the other balls. There's three balls in here in total. I get really weird vibes in here. I, it's really, really cold. Um, strangely, it's actually colder in this building than it is outside, we've found out. But, just like this room, like, these sinks here, they would have cleaned the bodies in. You've got the table in there. Um, you've got fridge and freezer here where they would have stored them. It's just a weird place to be in. You might be able to hear like running water, that's because there's a running spring under this building, which some people believe, and have said it before, and we'll say it again, you know, a common theory is that water like helps conduct paranormal activity. But I haven't even told you the creepiest thing yet. These fridges and freezers where they stored the body, that's also where they stored their food. And these sinks that I just showed you, this wasn't only where they cleaned their bodies, but apparently is also where they cleaned their food. Ooh, what was that? Oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Okay, guys, it's official. We've got bats down here. And I'm petrified of them. That was so close to my head. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> that cat ball's gone off so many times. I would lose my mind if it actually rolled like along the floor, like moved along the floor. And maybe that's them trying to do that, you know? These things are pretty sensitive. Like you just need to tap them a little bit and they'll light up like that. Did you leave? Okay guys, I'm just freaking out. Cause there's at least one bat down here. I don't know where it came from. It was either the fridge or the morgue, but I'm officially creeped out. <sighs> I'm getting out of here. I think I caught that one in camera. Oh my God. I can't do bats. I can't do it. I can't do it. Alright, I'm getting the hell out of here. I can't do it. I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> oh my god. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. Bats. No, 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 no. Okay, so I'm currently in one of the children's rooms and I've set up some equipment. It's already gone off and I've chosen to set up the REM pod and the cat balls. And the reason for that is I've heard that some crazy stuff happens with those types of uh, pieces of equipment in this area. I've also bought some offerings. So I've got some lollipops out. So I hope that someone here wants to play and they enjoy that. We're gonna leave you to it though. So Jar and I are going to move to another area of the building to investigate. 
but I just want to see what happens in this room while it's empty with some gadgets out. Just going to set up our next um, session and Jared is on the floor because... More bats. They're not just in the basement apparently. Apparently they're also up on this floor. Great. Are you on edge now? Yes. <laughs> oh. Very much on edge. They're just... <laughs> you know? What the f*** is just... that? Are you imitating a bat? <laughs> We're about to set up and do an Estes in the men's ward because we were getting words before that seemed like something was interested in me. But Amy reckons she saw bats. I haven't seen them in there yet, but they're freaking me out. We don't want to harm them as well. So if there's too many bats in there and they're going crazy, we, we won't go in there. We'll instead go and investigate the cell because we also got some cool words in there too, right? Count. Yeah. Or counting the money. But yeah. I reckon there was two down there. Let's just go in slow and low slow to the and ground. Slow and steady, low to the ground. And if they don't like us being there, then we'll do the cell. How's that? Yeah, sound? they might even be gone. I haven't seen them in the, like 10 minutes. Here I go. <laughs> point. Can you not? Oh my God. Okay, we made it. Bat free. I really don't want to be doing this. I just really feel like I'm on edge. I think because of the bats. I think that's going to make this sensory, sensual deprivation even more freaky for me, I think. Well, let's get into it. Maybe take your beanie off as well, because if they want to play with your hair, like they said earlier. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so guys, we have multiple camera angles. We've got the night vision camera here that's going to be watching me. I'm going to be listening to the radio with the headphones on. Uh, and a blindfold so I can't hear what Amy's asking and Amy's gonna ask a series of questions. I'm gonna be out here monitoring the hallway. You know, we got the word hallway, so that is relevant. And I'm gonna be, yeah, asking, trying to get some answers over here. We also have that camera with some gadgets set up in the kids' room, which is on a different floor completely. And I hope that they come out to play, I really do. Um, but we'll see how we go up here. My name's Amy, that guy on the chair over here, his name is Jared, and we're here to talk to- Run. You. Uh, you mean me or are you going to run at me? So I ain't a fast runner. I'm not going to run anywhere. Hearing weird noises as well. If you run down this hallway, I put some balls on the floor. One, two, Stay. three. Okay, I'll stay. We felt drawn to come here to this area. Like you wanted us to be here. Were you talking about Jared's hair earlier? Sleep. You would have slept here in these rooms, right? Like this one. There's some definite noises, guys, but it is raining quite heavily out there. There's a storm, so. Can you hear the rain? Problem. What's the problem? How can I help you? Say it. Okay, so earlier tonight we got uh, a response that said nine. Is that a room? Is that an age? It's the way it should be. It's the way it should be. What's the way that it should be? Is someone still enforcing the rules? Because if you have something to say, please say it to us. You are. We're not enforcing the rules. We're here and we hope that you can now do as you please. Were you talking to us earlier? Yes. That's pretty cool because we really felt like someone was talking to us in this area and wanting us to be here. Should I go in a room or a hallway? Welcome. Oh, I appreciate it. I really do. I'm hearing noise down there. Can you tell me who's doing that? 
Dirty. Or 30. Is that how many people are here? Your age? Psych. Maybe that's referring to psychiatric treatment? Five of us. Is that five men? Susan. Susan. Or Susie. <gasps> the little, uh, there's a little girl here. Susie is actually quite a relevant name to come through here, as one of the child spirits who haunts this property is thought by many to be named Susie. And then we do have a little girl spirit that people have called Susie. I don't know if she's actually named Susie or not. Did you want to play with us? We left some um, things in the, the kids' room for you. What the f Okay. I definitely heard a door or something. What was that noise? It can't have been- Stay. Right. Okay, I'll stay. Stranger. I'm wigging out a bit. What the heck? I heard a door or something down here and I was just about to walk out and then he says stay. Right before that he says Susan and Susie. I don't, I'm the one that does the majority of the research here guys. Jared just sort of comes along and wings it. I don't know if I would have mentioned the little girl being named Susie earlier to him. Okay, I'm staying. Only if you do something really big for me. Can you touch Jared? Maybe light up these Transferred. walls? Transferred. Transferred. What does that mean? Did you go somewhere else? It's moving. Did you move something? Is that the noise that I heard? It's out Crazy out. area. They did keep people in here who had, you know, mental health issues. That man. This man? On the chair? Him. Him, yeah. That guy. Women. Women are down that end, except me. Down there. Yeah, down that end. Down there. This is really weird. Okay, you wanted to talk to this guy. We've brought him in here. Six, three. Six, three. You should know. I should know, okay. I'm sorry. I'm not sure what that means. Stay down. Those stairs there. Maybe that's- Fire the... panel. Fire panel? It's weird because we got shown the fire panel earlier because there's a fault with like the sprinkler system at the moment and stay down, like maybe that's... Jared. <gasps> that's him, that's his name, yeah. Stay down could be like, someone in charge, say like the superintendent saying, stay down, like you're not allowed. You know what I'm saying? You're allowed to talk to us, whoever wants to talk. It also just said Carol. No. You'd have to bleep that out, I don't want that in the video. Are you kidding me? You have got to be f***ing me. These responses are a little strange to us. First, Jared's name comes through, which is closely followed by the name Carol. Carol is of personal significance to Jared, though he does not wish to disclose this information publicly on this channel. This name first came through for us while investigating the Sally house a few weeks ago, and it hasn't been the only instance of this happening. Do you think this could be a spirit attempting to communicate with us who is not tied to this exact haunted location? Leave a comment below. This is too much. This is... Have you spoken to us before? 
before tonight? Have you spoken to us before tonight? Help me out. That's what I just heard. Young voice. I'm here to help you. There's someone who's trying to control you. That's not on. Down the corridor. Oh, I just turned to look down here, okay. Should I go and check out the other side? No. Okay, I'll stay here with you then. Is that what you want? I'm going to take that as... Latin. Latin. What would you like from us? If we could tell you something or give you something or do something for you, what would you like from us? Music. Music? You know what? What? I'll play some music for you. There are a lot of noises going on right now. I do think I'm so. done with you. I'm gonna go and get some music ASAP. That was really weird. What? Just I like said it, music, but what, what about it? I said, is there anything I can do for you or tell you? Or, like pretty much said, what do you want from me? And you said music. So now I'm like, what? let's <laughs> let's go get the music. Also, uh, just come with me. Just come with me. Felt like somebody could be in here. And I know that patient said that earlier, but I heard it sounded like a door or something. A door? Yeah. And it was so, everything was so weird. Was that like loud or like It something? sounded like it was coming from down here and I went to go check it out. And yeah, it was loud. And um, you were like, stay. So I don't know if that was like a protective thing or a warning it was, maybe? Yeah. So just walk down there. <laughs> You go first. I'll Let just me, follow you. Let me get my hat sorted out. Okay. I can see the cell door from here and that's closed. So I don't think it would be that. Patients did say earlier it might actually sound like people have come in. Sometimes that's the paranormal activity you get. Like it feels like there's actually people in here or you know sounds like. Really, you know what's really weird? And during that estus, at first, I didn't think, I like, feel like I was getting much. And then it really ramped up, like, especially like when it said my name and a string of other things. Like it just, it, it just changed. Like it felt different. Yeah. Can I also ask you, did you know about the little girl? Uh, did I mention that? I reckon I might have. I know that there's children here because we were playing with the dum-dums. The little girl the though. Box. Some people, rem some people say her girl. name. Yeah. Do you know what her name is? I forgot. <laughs> you never listen to that shit anyway. It's Susie. Oh, I said Susan. You said Susan or Susie. Oh, yeah. It was hard to hear. It was like a subtle. So I, Susan, I was like, I can't. Know. I don't know if Jared will know that piece of info, and maybe it's just in his head. You know no, what I'm saying? No, I totally forgot about that. Okay. Oh, this is weird. I feel like every door is open as well. Except this one, and we've been and deliberately we closing deliberately, this. Yeah. Like, every like time we film in front of this door, I'm like, you're my witness, I'm closing this. Yeah. So this hasn't moved. Maybe you leave it open now. All right, you're my witness, I'm leaving it open now. <laughs> in this moment, Jared and I head downstairs to grab my MacBook so we can play music as requested by the spirits. When we return upstairs, we once again hear the same banging I captured earlier on the camera we left rolling there. We immediately roll on our secondary camera after hearing this, only to capture more noises. Okay, guys, we're hearing a noise down here. Go, 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 go. And there is definite bangs down here. There's definitely noises down here. 
They're probably pissed off because I didn't bring any music yet. Did you know that this building goes back that far? No. Men's bathroom. Could it have to come from in here maybe? I don't know. What? I'm hearing noise in here. I think it's coming from in here. There is rain. But those bangs are undeniable. They're bangs. I bought you some music. I'm going to play it. If you can do me a favour, if you really like the music, can you move something? I've heard that you can do that. Slam a door. Move one of these balls and make them light up. Just do anything that you can to show us that you like it. I really think we just stirred something up. I could hear growling or movement. Maybe they didn't like the music as well. Like, it was a bit of an annoying song. <laughs> Can you whistle? I'm just like hearing noises out there and I don't know if it's like the rain outside or it sounds like creaking like footsteps or something. Do you hear like dragging noises? Yeah. That was like dragging noises or like, a, to me it sounded like a, sh a, ca a shower curtain opening. That's what it sounds like to me. Oh, some definite movement going on down there. Maybe we go to it. What was that? Did you just click or something? No. Did you hear it? I thought that was you. you that wasn't you? Oh <laughs> no! <laughs> that scared me! It wasn't like this, was it? No, it's too oh, loud. The light would have turned on. Yeah. Wanna crank a spirit box in the cell? Okay. Okay, so much going on. We thought that we'd come and do a spirit box in here in the cell. You're filming the door from both angles so you can see us. We ain't touching it. <laughs> and I've also got a, another static night vision camera out in the hall. We're gonna do a spirit box because I've heard that they're really good in here. You ready? Yeah. My name is Amy and I'm here tonight with Jared in this little cell. And we would love to talk to anyone that's here. Can you give me a hello or maybe tell me your name?
Can you tell us who we're interacting with outside in the hallway before? A name would be lovely. Did you like the music? Can you tell us a little bit of something about this room? Can you tell us about this place in general? How many children are here? Can somebody move the cell door for us? I've had the best night here. This has been so much fun. Very spooky, very strange feelings here. Everywhere you go has a feeling. It feels like there's vibes everywhere. And they say that about this building. You know, they say there's not like one active area. The whole thing is active. <laughs> and I cannot wait to edit this, mostly because Jared does not really know what happened during the Estes because he's you know, he's got a blindfold on, he's got noise cancelling headphones. And I really think it's going to be weird for you to watch that back, Jared. I can't <laughs> wait. Um, but I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please remember to like, comment, share and subscribe. Seriously, that helps us out. And you guys have shown so much support since we've started traveling again. And I'm just like, thank you. But seriously, that helps us out so much. So definitely like and leave a comment on the video. Uh, if you want to do any more reading on this place, head to my website, amyscrypt.com. Uh, also post bonus content on Patreon and YouTube uh, members. They're linked below. And you can follow me on social media at Amy's Crypt, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. But thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time.